Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. What is good, JI Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. This is your boy JI coming at you guys live from the cockpit. As you guys can see, we got the tuning laptop right here, man. We got HP tuners down there. Basically, bruh, if you guys have been in the loop. And been you know up to date with all the vlogs then you guys would have seen my most recent video where I did the hard pulls without talking just let you guys hear the car sheesh anyway but yeah I just let you guys hear the car and whatnot I wasn't really talking in that video um, shout out to my tuners man over at NRG my boy Brandon my boy Christian always taking care of the kid they were actually watching the vlog and they saw by my air fuel ratio gauge that my car was running mad lean and if you guys stayed to the end of the vlog then you guys would have already known I had mentioned that I felt as if the car was kind of like driving a little sluggish um, up top didn't seem to be pulling as hard as y'all see, we need E as always, you know what I'm saying? So we're actually on our way to the E station, about to fill up on some E, and then I have to send over a data log to the gang. They're gonna go ahead and revise it, and they'll send me a new tune. However, we got some issues with that that I'll go ahead and kind of touch on once we get to the gas station. Just got to the station, man. E85 is 2.29 right now. Big blessings, you know what I'm saying? So I think I ain't gonna lie, it's moving kind of slow. I think I'm gonna put about $25 worth of E in. I was gonna fill it up, but considering how slow this joint is moving, they definitely have not replaced their filter. Just a little known fact, if you guys didn't know that, if you're ever getting gas and the gauge is moving slow as hell, it's because the filter is pretty much full, and so it's not pumping all the gas straight through the hose for you type deal. You dig what I'm saying? But while I'm get an E. I'm going to go ahead and set up the HP tuners and get ready to log. Currently the car has 67% E85 in it. I ain't going to lie that's mad low. You feel me? Mad low. So that being said, I need to go ahead and connect to my personal hotspot so that way I can log this for y'all. So give me one second. I'm not even going to cap. I low-key feel like the dude that you know what I'm saying got the Honda <laughs> at the race meet everybody worried about him because he got the Honda and the laptop out <laughs> no cap all right bet just connected to my hotspot we are connected to the vehicle right now stopping the skin all right bet so basically <laughs> That's insane, bro. Son, what the? Bro, this dumbass pump. Like, bro, I had it on the fucking. What? Like, bro, this just pissed me off, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. Look at all that E85, bro. Literally all on my tire, all on my paint, bro. Like, son. <sighs> anyway, y'all, so like I was trying to tell y'all, man, before, literally a whole gallon of E85 just got poured all over my fucking car, bro. Went inside and told the dude about the shit. He didn't even understand, like, Bro, 
Let's just get on the road and get this log sent over to Brandon and them, bro. Because I ain't even going to lie. I'm a little frustrated right now. So, basically, let me tell you guys um, what's going on. So, as you guys can see, I can record a data log, which I'm about to do right now. But for some reason, the scan the editor, which allows you to tune the vehicle or flash a new tune to the vehicle, is not reading my car. I don't know what's going on. We've already made a ticket with HP Tuners. Me and Brandon have been going back and forth, back and forth, trying to get this thing figured out. It's been a pain and a headache for sure. So that being said, man, right now I'm about to go hit a little back road, try to get this 40 to 100 mile an hour pull for them on the data log, send it over, and they'll get me a revised tune. However, I won't be able to flash it to the car until HP Tuners reaches back out to me. So, yeah. did save that log I'm gonna end up sending him that one and I'm gonna send them the next one all right yeah that was a clean hit right there for sure all right y'all hopefully I'm in focus right now um, but basically just wanted to give y'all an update just got the log recorded went ahead and emailed it over to Brandon right now I'm trying to see if I download the VCM suite beta if it allow me to use the scanner to go ahead and flash the tune I doubt it but you know what I'm saying uh, CSP over there um, in, there in PA um, you know what I'm saying he was telling he was saying you know in the video that he posted that some newer cars may need you to use the beta which is you know their most up-to-date version versus what they already have we'll see how this goes man I'm, I'm about to download it right now we'll see if I can get it if I can get it and it'll allow me to flash a tune then we're lit because then all we have to do is wait for Brandon and Christian to send over the upgraded um tune and i'll be able to flash it over to the car do another data log send it over to them make sure the car is happy and then we'll be good so we're gonna see how this goes man right now it's currently downloading hopefully it works out during that 40 to 100 mile pull the car kind of felt solid um according to hp tuners the ethanol content right now is about 71 percent which i'm not even gonna lie is terrible for real for real but it's climbing at first it was at like 69 on the previous tank that i had and as you guys seen earlier in this vlog i filled up so when i filled up the car it started to rise so we'll see where it ends off at um hopefully we can at least get 80 percent or 75 percent something like that at least above 75 percent because jesus what am i gonna do with e70 bruh <laughs> Come on, bro. Why are we playing games right now? All right, so it just finished downloading right now. Since it downloaded, I kind of want to just do everything right and reset this joint. But we're going to see if it at least reads the car. If it reads the car, then we're good. Same thing, man. It's doing the same. It's doing the same thing, bro. Oh, HP tuners. So now we have to wait for hp tuners to hit me back because they don't have a phone number all they have is a tech card you make a tech card and hope that they call you back within a reasonable amount of time if they don't you're kind of just fried bruh so we'll see how this goes right now i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here i know it was mad short I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope beneficial to you guys. Some of you guys learned how to data log if you didn't know. 
hope it was entertaining as always man i always try to give you guys entertaining content try to you know refrain from the normal boring joints you feel me and try to give you guys content that you guys will enjoy so if you guys don't mind do your boy a favor hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications right now also, go follow your boy on IG, man. Trying to hit 5K before my birthday. My birthday is on Saturday. So, if you haven't already, go follow your boy. It pops up on the screen. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you guys are new, like I said, hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button. And drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and close this one out here. Let's roll that outro. I'll see y'all in the next one.